Welcome to Best Graphics. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. We have 2013 BMW uh, with the check engine light on, airbag light also is on. Let me try to start it. The car is start fine, the check engine light is off, but you have an airbag light on, and also the driver door, uh, the auto. You see here we have airbag message, the auto door lock and unlock proximity is very sensitive also I noticed this piece here people putting this thing, thing around the ignition switch or around this one please if you have something like that do not put it I see a car being toyed and work have to be done on it for weeks after that we realize that the signal is not coming in because this one uh, preventing the signal from coming into the car especially with the one that ignition go in Okay, we diagnose this car, we're using the dealer tools and uh, we need to know what exactly there in this car. We have seven coats. If you see here, we have seven coats. Okay, let's go now and uh, look at this code and see what happened. Here we have safety battery terminal. Okay, the safety battery terminal, we have problem. Alarm memory voltage supply tempering. Hmm. CA aerial bumper. Okay, water valve drives driver side, front fog light left faulty, fog light right faulty, so we have fog light problem, and we have a serial bumper, a aerial bumpers. This one here we're gonna check right now and to see what happened. We're gonna calculate the test plan. So the battery terminal is no good. Mm -hmm. The ignition circuit safety system airbag. Okay, that one is messed up. Reverse light, we don't have no problem. CA aerial antenna. One of the antenna is no good. Maybe it's shorted out. This one. Okay. And also we have a siren with the tilt alarm sensor. Okay. So those are the code we have it here. Before we do anything. It's better for us to go and, and, and see what happened. I want to check what is here. Display this. Uh, Manu, many, many. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, the the battery sensor on the you see this car have a battery on the terminal. Yes. There is a, on the battery terminal have a sensor. That sensor either somebody touch it when they take the battery out, disconnect it, and they put it back. Maybe it's in the memory. It's not available. But I'm, it's, I have the code here that the airbag was tricked by that sensor. Yeah. I'm gonna try to reset, reset it and it. see what happens. I took a look at. It, I took it out. Put it back in, in place. Yes. So. Also, we have one code, but it's not available now for the central lock system. That one, no fault. We're going to go back for it. Uh, the footwell module. One of the sensors, but the rear bumper aerial defective. The rear bumper area defective that's why maybe it creating trouble sometime so let me see now if it is true or not okay let me see where is it
gonna look for the aerials, the rear one, and we come back. It's creating, it's creating misinformation and the door lock and unlock because it's that's no good. That's why it's shaped like that? Yeah, that, that's where in the bumper, this one here, uh -huh. is belong to the rear one. We have a code that is no good. You may have to see if the wire are okay or not all the way in the back. This is a rear, rear, uh, rear bumper sensor, aerial. Those yeah. are the ones that sending signal. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Oh yeah, this is no good. So you gotta take the bumper off? No, maybe you have a cover or some some stuff there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a it's no good. This one, I, I'm getting caught with it. You gotta look at it, do the resistance, um, perform resistance test, and all this stuff. But that's what it is. It's supposed to be five to six ohms resistance, mm -hmm. and if it's no good, you have to replace it. That one coat. Also, the battery airbag. Airbag. Yeah, the airbag is on. Mm -hmm. The one in the back, no good. The what? The area, uh, the the one, the one in the back by the trunk. The what? The sensor on the on the middle of the bumper, rear bumper. Oh. It's confusing the car. It's no good. You may have to check the wire. You may have to check and see what's happened to it. That for the. You want to take it now if you have time. Well, we could take uh, if we can see it. It's a big square sensor, right? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta take the bump out. Whatever. It, oh my goodness. You okay. can't see it. Okay. You have no power. Okay. So uh, that that sense. That sensor giving trouble. Show it the money, you're gonna see, see it. Okay. So now you that's. Have the picture, you just have yeah, it. I have. I, I take a picture of it. Oh, okay. But now, um, the only thing we have here, the the more important is, the reverse light one is not working. The fog light is not working. Uh, the safety for the airbag, I hit. I have like seven coat. So I'm gonna go back, and I will delete everything here. Hopefully they will not come back. If one come back, then we see what happens. I'm going to try and look at Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Maybe it's very sensitive. I have four coats. It's still there. So now let me review again. Display memory coat. Okay. The safety switch terminal is no good. The battery terminal safety switch is no good. You have to take it, disconnect it, push it good. If it's no good, you may have to change the whole battery cable. That's for the airbag. Did he have it before or he just want to ask you what happened? No, he replaced the battery. Yeah, I but did, did he has it before that? No, no, I don't, I don't know. I, I, he say after he replaced the battery. Okay, so maybe somebody messed up with it. <laughs> Let's see how that one. We have fog light, water valve, water valve driver side. You know those water valve for the air conditioning? That's not my problem. The, that's, that sensor for the door lock lock is gone. But let's, let's check this one. We need, if you need to program the battery, I need to see. Maybe those people who put the, put the, put this thing, they mess it up with that wire. Those people who put this thing here, maybe they mess up, they messed up with the sensor, whatever they put here. This code never come back again. Can we take the, the you want to look at the sensor there? The sensor is. You see it, it's near there? Yeah. The wire look okay? Yes. Huh? Yes. So leave it now. Maybe just, maybe just the, the, the car get, get a little bit of, 
of mist, but it never repeat itself again. Let's open the let's open the trunk. I don't trust it. I could take it out. Okay, now before we take it out, uh, we need to take some pictures here because there are some numbers here. Oh, the numbers maybe is here. Sometimes the numbers are inside, but sometimes could be this one is enough. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take some picture for me here. Uh, we're gonna so that we can ride the, or you can take the fuse. This fuse out. You have to be sure there is nothing more than this. But I believe this is the number. Let me let me program the 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 the, the battery first, and then this one we have to look for. We have to look because it looks like you see like it's playing. You want you want to push it and see if I can re reset it again. I have two things to do. I'm gonna re I'm gonna re reset it again and see. The mission have to be in. You push it in. Okay, I'm gonna delete it. Delete the memory. still there still we have the same problem many we have the same problem so that that battery yeah that battery have to take care of it I'm gonna go yeah that battery you need to take care of it See if I can program the battery. Register battery. Register battery exchange. Okay. Okay. Supply number is six digit. Okay. Um, Manny, mm. you see here on you see this is the battery, right? Uh -huh. In in here there is supply number. Maybe we have to move from under it or you can take a picture from under it if it's possible the six digit number
I have to disconnect the battery. Let me see. Let me see. I will have to disconnect the battery. Yeah, let me see. See. We cannot get the number, right? No. Let me see what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's okay. It it, it know it. I already did it. It was a successful enter. Sometimes the computer itself will will have the ability to do it. So service finish. We finish this one here. Now we have one thing to do. Gonna go back for my vehicle information. I finish uh, with uh, with the battery register. I finish with the. Uh, the, co the code for that piece is from that. You have resistors here? Yes, Hold on. No. Just to test it for you, but. Is there. The, you, want, you want to check what the, what the water valve is, or you don't need the. Or it's not in your no, plan? No, there's no concern about the door locks and uh, the airbags. Okay, yeah. So those those are the two things, the airbag and the battery? Yeah. And the, the, the alarm. The alarm, yeah. yeah. I mean, no, well, the, really, it's the, uh, the airbag and the alarm. Yeah, so just yeah. check those things, the, the sensor. We already know what, what causing it. So get the get the pin for it, uh, take it out, let them pinch it. You're talking about the one in the battery? Yeah, the one in the battery itself. If it's not working, the whole battery have to replace. The whole terminal? The whole terminal, sorry. The whole term will have to be replaced. There's no way of, uh, uh, there's no way, uh, that's the sensor for the, uh, what was that again? Uh, if you fix it, it's better. You, know, you don't want something happening there. Okay. This one for here, we know what's going on on it, and that's it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and share.